I love this aluminum vise. I thought I was going to hate it when my wife gave it to me for a gift 25 years ago. And I have just used the heck out of it ever since. Just taking the burrs off. Take them off both sides because at this exact moment I can't remember which side is the top and which side is the bottom. I'm not going to make you watch me deburr both plates thoroughly. Just trust me, I'm going to go over them all the way around inside and out with either a deburring tool or the file. That one's done, I think. I don't feel any burrs or ridges sticking up. Now to do the other one. All right, at this point, I don't honestly know for sure if they're going to fit. Um, I measured this with calipers and I kind of guessed on the location and size and position of the locating pin. It looks a little large, but if I can get that in with a little bit of mallet force, that'll be adequate because I don't want it popping out by accident. Excuse my thumb in the picture. Um, ordinarily I'd be using a brass face hammer or a soft fan or a soft hammer. Excuse my video there. But my brass face hammer and my regular soft hammer are both MIA. I'm going to have to move the camera out of the way to, to tap that down all the way around, but it feels pretty good, so I may be good there. Anyway, the large slot here is for being able to tighten, or being able to tilt the table, and then the one here with the smaller slot is kind of a, uh, 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 a close uh, clearance plate for when I have to... Uh, cut off small pieces. Hopefully I won't suck so many of them down into the machine. Anyway, it looks like it worked. Um, just a little bit of cleanup and a little bit of uh, persuasion and they do the job.